This is the UEL Sports Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the UEL Sports Show. I'm Don McDermott, joined, as always, by Deck McCarthy and Sebastian Lingentorfer. How are you guys? Very well, thank you. Very well. A bit, bit chilly now, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's good that the sports started again. Mm. Yeah, definitely good. Yeah, last week, obviously, we had a, a preview of the season coming up. Uh, but uh, now, on, on Wednesday, we've got, we've got some fixtures that, that have happened for UEL Sports. Back. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it's good, definitely. We've got loads to talk about. Yeah, coming up on the show, as always, we have a guest star on the show. This time we have Netball's first team vice captain, Joyce Malambo, and we'll have plays of the week coming up later as well. Yeah, absolutely. Starting with the first team, I suppose, would be the basketball. Now, we spoke quite highly, highly of them last week, wasn't it? You know, we had our JP coaching as well um, for interviews, but they, they, they started off very well. They won uh, 101 points to 60 against Kingstonian University. Uh, their seconds then won against Canterbury, 98 points to 62, which was quite impressive. Uh, but uh, you were there, Don, yesterday, and I suppose the most impressive result was the first team. Who did we have doubts last week? I'm not sure if that's the right word to say. I mean, more the coach even had yeah. no doubts, but he couldn't really say what how well the yeah, season was going to go. And what then, he wants from them this season. And they beat Bath 104 points to 66. Um, very fantastic, or a bit of a fantastic weekend, and uh, it was wrapping up a good day for basketball. But you were there, Don, and, and I suppose you're quite impressed. Yeah, I was. Um, I think obviously Coach Chippy. I think he was a bit concerned with some of the new new players coming in, and certainly uh, the first half was well, it was fairly close. Um, it ended UEL were up by three points. Um, I think that is because the team just it was the first time playing together. They needed to gel a bit. But the third quarter caught on fire. I think they outscored Bath. 36 to 8 I want to say in that quarter and then yeah and they just ran away from it so they the team gelled and I think that they'll have a strong season again this year how many new players started um yeah, there was quite a few I mean they've lost their, their two big guys so they had a new starting center um I think for the starting group I think there was just one or two who, who, who were changed but obviously your starting center that doesn't make quite a difference great stuff Don and of course there was football action Sebastian a lot of teams in in, in action as well yeah, there was like, from the four men's team, three of them were in action this week, and also the first women's team were in action. The men's first team, they lost 0-1 at St. Mary's. The second team drew 1-1 with Middlesex first team, which was quite impressive. Yeah, that's quite, it's always good to see your, your second team's kind of challenging against the first teams. I don't know if it says a lot about the university or the opponents, but I know, I've always looked at kind of if any second team in any sport can compete against the first team in a university. It says a lot about UEL as a whole as well. And the men's third team, they played the Metropolitan University, the, their second team, and they won 3-0. Mm. But Good. they could have scored loads of more goals. They missed a couple of great chances, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Yeah, and yeah, the men's fourth team, they haven't played so far. Mm. And actually, big news actually this week, um, the third football team, of course, announced their captain this week, Don. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, which is he's a good friend of ours, a uh, second year sports journalism student, just like us, Kieran Baldwin. So uh, uh, we wish him all the best in that. And Hopefully, it's a good of year. Of course, couldn't play because of mm. an injury he suffered last weekend. Yes, absolutely. Going in for a 50 50 challenge, we found out actually, and uh, mm. got on the run end of it. Uh, talk about a different kind of shape of ball, it's rugby. Now, they lost, and we only really, only really found out about this um, recently, but they lost against Kent 27.0. So they lost uh, quite heavily, uh, disappointing first game, I suppose. I mean, they, they they struggled a bit last season as well and got relegated. Um, I think they'll be very disappointed that, that they didn't start the season with a win, but I mean, from what I've heard, it's a very strong Kent side, so. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I guess they just continued the English tradition in losing to rugby. Mm. Right. Cheers for that, Don. <laughs> and uh, of course, there was many other results in and around the sporting UEL world. Um, of course, there was the tennis, Sebastian, and netball. Yeah, the um, tennis, the women's first team, they played Imperial's second team and they won 12-0, so quite convincing victory. And the tennis, the men's second team, they won 6 nothing against Middlesex and also from what I've heard, the, the men's first team had quite a successful week as well and, and won their game mm, too. Absolutely. And, and uh, Badminton, they unfortunately, the first team they unfortunately lost 6-2 to the Essex men's second team. Mm. 
So a good victory for Essex there. And Donna Netball, we were, we had a, I believe we had one team in action or a couple of teams in action yesterday. Yeah, um, Netball first team, uh, they had a good result, uh, won their away match. Um, obviously they got promoted last season, all three of the Netball teams got promoted mm. last season. Um, uh, they were uh, named Club of the Year, so uh, obviously they'll be really happy to start the season with a win. Absolutely, and they beat the Uni of Kent. Uh, 47 points to 17, that game finished up. And of course we do have a special... Yeah, just got, got the result from the men's first team, they won... 12 nothing away at Brighton. Wow. So, yeah, that yeah, that just... Latest news, eh, on the uh, UEO <laughs> Sports uh, show. Great stuff there. And, of course, we do have a special guest on today's show. We uh, pretty much get one in every single week. And this week it is netball, Don. Yeah, uh, we've got uh, Joyce Malambo, the, uh, as uh, Sebastian mentioned earlier, the vice captain of the netball squad to be coming in to uh, talk to us. And this is what she had to say. So, uh, Joyce, welcome to the show. It's glad to have you with us. Nice to be here. Thank yeah. you for the invite. Yeah, so um, obviously last year the uh, Netball Club were named Club of the Year. Uh, how exciting was that and how proud were, uh, were the team to, to, to receive that award? It was unexpected, but it was great to get that award because it just meant that we got a lot of appreciation for the things that we do do outside of the sport as well. So it was good. It was good. All right. So yeah, the, the season started yesterday and both teams won? Yeah. Yeah, and what do you think about how important was that to start a season on the winning side and what do you think what do you what do you think you wanna achieve this season? It was good to get that first game out of the way because it was um the first game with new players, so getting to know each other, how we played, it was good, so um it's good to get a win from that as well. Uh great Great, great performance from everyone, so yeah, it's good. Uh, this year we just want to keep up the main standards, look to get promoted again, and now we've got four teams, so yeah, we're looking to keep it going. All right. Yeah. And, um, and just that last question, uh, uh, for, for yourself personally, what are your personal ambitions for this season? I just want to keep improving, uh, keep getting better as I can, and be more supportive for everyone else. Just be involved more in the club. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for being on the show with us. So that was Joyce Melambo. That was great talking to her. Really enjoyed that. And of course, we move on now to the fixtures for next week, Don. Yeah, and uh, we'll start with uh, this week's Spotlight Club, which is the volleyball club. Uh, they have didn't start their season uh, this past Wednesday. They will start this upcoming Wednesday. So. Women's volleyball. They got promoted to the Premiership, so this will be the first game in the Buck South Premier League. And they will be playing against Oxford University, so um, that's going to be very exciting. Um, as we discussed last week, they've also got a new coach, so um, a lot of changes in that respect. Um, regards to their um, their starting uh, starting six players, uh, there's not a lot of change. They lost their uh, uh, tall American striker, um, Kerry Beck. Uh, other than that, the team's really pretty much the same. Uh, men's volleyball uh, play their second year in the Premiership, uh, where they finished second. Uh, they will be playing University College London. Um, that will be at 4 p.m. on Wednesday. Looking forward to that um, one. That, that should be very interesting because they've had a lot of changes. They have lost all six of their starters from last year. Mm. So, oh, that's, that's yeah. Like pretty much similar to the basketball situation and even worse. Yeah, like, exactly. More change. And they had yeah. some really big players, even international players last exactly. year, didn't they? So very interesting that one. So we're expecting big things from volleyball this year as well. And like Don said there, it's 4 p.m. down at the sports dock for the volleyball men's first team. And for the volleyball women's first team, it is a 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Um, swing off, I suppose you want to call it. I don't know. But um, there is some other action involved as well, which you can definitely visit. Uh, Badminton first, they take on the King's College, and that'll be a very interesting game as they take on their third side. There's some Badminton as well that people can go to uh, in the women's. Yeah, they play Rockhampton's first at home. And, of course, basketball as well. Don, the away team, uh, no, sorry, the first team are away, but the second and third are at home this weekend. Yeah, the away game should be really interesting. Um, Coach JP mentioned it last week. That's going to be the big test. Uh, Southampton Solon, um, who got promoted to the Premiership this year, they're apparently a very strong team. 
uh, facing them away in the second game of the season, that's really going to tell a lot about this uh, mm. men's basketball team at UEL. Especially because it's that time of the year where they're, they're gelling, and um, it's probably one of the toughest times to play any good side, I suppose. Mm -hmm. You always need to get more games under your belt to form the chemistry of the team, especially when you have so many new players. Mm, absolutely, and so we'll definitely be keeping an eye on that one. Uh, the second and third team are playing Medway at home, so that'll be an interesting one. And uh, are we expecting anything from that, Don? You know, are we looking for two UEL home wins there? Yeah, I would definitely hope so. I mean, they, they both looked uh, very strong uh, so far in, in their one game this season. So, yeah, hopefully hopefully it'll be another clean sweep for men's basketball. The, the women's team play as well at home against the Imper Imperial first team. Mm, yeah. Absolutely, that'll be a tough game nonetheless, and that's in the first division there. Uh, the football, Sebastian, there's an action for the first and second at home. Yeah, the, the first team, they play Brighton at home, and I think they hope to turn the season around after the opening day loss. And the second team, they play the Essex third team at home as well, so there's quite a lot of football to watch too, yeah. Yeah. There's um, some, go on. Yeah, I would expect the, uh, the first team to bounce back and win. Um, I think the general impression uh, around the sports stock was that they were quite unlucky to uh, to, to lose that match uh, on Wednesday. So I'd expect to see them bounce back with a win. Mm, absolutely. The third and fourth are not in action in this week uh, due to uh, a cup by, so that means they're into the next stage of the cup just by the luck of the draw, I suppose. So that's all the football this week. And of course, we have netball in action. And netball firsts are in action with Essex second team at home. And then we have netball seconds third away from home. There's also a lot of tennis played at home this week. Both the men's first team and the women's first team play at home. The men's first team are playing... <laughs> the University of City of London. And I believe that the second team are playing Westminster. So that should be quite a, an entertaining fixture. Don't worry, Sebastian. I'll help you out with that one. Um, of course, we have the tennis women's side, the first, uh, they take on Essex first, and that will be a, a tough encounter nonetheless, and we're looking forward to that one. As Don rightfully said, volleyball is certainly the big fixtures this week. I'll be at the men's myself. Don, where will you be? Yeah, I'll be at the netball match, the, uh, which is at home at 1 o'clock, so mm -hmm. I'll be there covering that one. Against Essex second team, so that'll be a very entertaining fixture, that one, and yourself? I'm trying to get all the tennis fixtures mm -hmm. in, other if I... Can't do that, I'm probably going to go for basketball second and third team. Mm, that'll be very interesting. So, I, I hope I can get to the tennis fixtures this week. Yeah, I mean, they've got some big games as well. Like we mentioned, University of City of London for the first team. And they had a really good week last week, the tennis sides. I believe the women's, um, who take on Essex next week, won 12 nil against Imperial. 12 sets of love. I mean, they just don't drop mm -hmm. anything. They're, they're looking very strong. And, and as we are aware, the men's second and first done very well as well. Uh, clean sweep there. So all our tennis is looking very good as well as other sports. And uh, also, we uh, now have the part of the show where we go to our play of the week. So we'll be showing you three plays um, from across all of the uh, UEL matches, which we have highlights of. Um, and then we will, we will uh, tweet out links to, uh, to all three of those plays through the UEL Sports Show Twitter account, which is as an at UEL Sports Show. And uh, then you will get to vote for, um, for which one you think was the best play of the week by uh, favoriting the tweets. And on next week's show, uh, whichever, whichever one has the most favorites, that will be our play of the week. And we will play that on next week's show. Mate, win it clean, win it clean, win it clean. Yeah, well done. Fantastic. So, of yeah, course, you've got to follow us on Twitter, UEL Sports and Show, and it's the radio basically show. radio show. Yeah, I mean, you can pretty much just find us on Twitter. We're all up and running. Of course, make sure you favorite, make sure you retweet everything, and we will be back next week on an exciting show with more results, fixtures, 
and interviews. It, and interviews with people from the UEL Sports Society, I think we can call it. Uh, my name's been Declan McCarthy. Don McDermott. Sebastian Lickenstofer. And it's been great to have you watching the show. Keep the support up and make sure you go to our social media page, UEL Sports Radio Show. Until next week. Goodbye.